probably not doing too great if you clicked on this clip, but I just want to make a little quick clip showing you this new um, antiviral drug I'm trying for my severely painful canker sores. I have had this, these stupid things off and on since I was in the fourth grade, and they are severely painful, like I said, and I have tried everything that I know have I, that I know to try. I've talked to multiple doctors, dentists, everything. The one that I'm dealing with now has been cauterized twice in the past two, two and a half weeks. The first time it was lasered, that didn't work. A week later, it was cauterized with the uh, uh, electro uh, electrostatic. Uh, discharge I think uh, cauterizing which is you know controlled burning of it and that's the even though it's the second time on this one it's the third time overall I've had it done the first two times it worked pretty well and nipped it in the bud but you know about two weeks ago when it, they it cost they charged me eighty dollars for it and I called them back it didn't work so they did it again and didn't charge me anything but Oh, mercy. Just venting on Facebook. I've discovered this stuff. It's called, uh, I think the chemical name is Valacyclovir hydrochloride. It's one gram, as you can tell. It's pretty big. It's about seven-eighths of an inch. And uh, this is a penny here, of course, so it's just giving you a, whoops, it's a dirt, nasty penny. Didn't mean to do that, but just to give you an idea how big the dumb things are. I haven't been having any trouble getting them down because I'm just hoping that they'll work, hoping and praying. And, uh, I wish I knew what this stuff's doing. I think it's going to work. Stuff's cheap. I know this is generic. Uh, I think eight of these suckers, if you take one every 12 hours, so twice a day, eight of these suckers was like $40, and that's the generic. But anyway, uh, this ain't the best source I know. This is Wikipedia, but uh, it's also sold under the uh, brand names of uh, Valtrex and Zelatrex. Uh, this uh, company here is British, GlaxoSmithKline. Um, but this stuff has been around since. 1995, and I wish I'd known about it sooner, but um, it went generic in 2009. So I'm just hoping it's going to work. This thing hasn't been hurting as bad today, so hopefully it's on the mend real this time. Of course, these stupid canker sores are inside my mouth. I've had them everywhere. On the inside of my uh, cheeks, my lips, right on my tongue, right on my gums roof of my mouth, back of my mouth, back of my throat, you know. Oh, it's, they're just a nightmare. But it's, it's a type of the herpes simplex virus, which, you know, it's obviously it's not the STD. I shouldn't even have to say that, but especially in fourth grade, I wasn't uh, getting, uh, doing any monkey business. But uh, anyway, just in case you didn't, never heard about it like I didn't, maybe it'll help you, and I'm hoping and praying it's going to help me. Also, while I'm at on its subject, uh, I think two doctors told me today that maybe I need to try this lysine uh, 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 vitamin. And I've tried it in the past, and this, this article here is saying, uh, you know, not enough evidence at all. Found no evidence of a cause and effect relationship. Same review published 2011. Uh, no evidence to support claims that lysine could uh, do a, a number of things, but it's not proven to help with these stupid canker sores that I've had. So anyway, hope that helps somebody out. Take one right now, my second to last one. Please, God, work. So, wish you the best and hope that helps somebody out. I'm going to take it right now.
Ah. Got it down. Yeah, baby. Come on, work. Look at that. Got my fingers crossed. Can't tell it, but my toes are crossed too. <laughs>